Hi everyone and welcome back for another tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this really super cute baking pendant. Um, you could turn this into a keychain or whatever, you could just sort of mix it up. Um, so this takes a little bit of time but it doesn't take too much skill in polymer clay so let's get started. So first what you want to do is create a rectangle using either grey or I'm using granite clay in this tutorial. Um, so you could just roll that out with a rolling pin or a pasta machine, whatever you have to hand. So this is what it should look like. After you've done that, now take a dotting tool and poke two holes in the top two corners of your rectangle. Flip it over and then make sure that the hole is big enough for the jump rings that you're going to use later. It depends what size you're going to be using. Now mark out three dots on the bottom of the rectangle. These are going to be holes later, so don't touch them yet, just mark them out. Now taking a dough coloured clay, I'm just using Ecru from Sculpey, all you want to do is take a small bit and pull and stretch it. You want it to look like someone's just rolled out dough. Now just add that cookie dough to the rest of your pendant and what you want to do with this is press down quite firmly because you don't want this coming off. Now taking a cookie cutter of your choice, I'm using a heart but you can use a star or a circle, whatever you have and you're not going to cut anything out, you're just going to use the cutter to indent the shape onto the clay. It should look like this when you've done that, I've put a face on but you don't have to do that of course. Now we're going to make the bowl, so taking some grey clay, I'm just putting it into this uh, Sculpey bowl tool, and all you want to do is just keep doing that until you've got a nice round um, bowl shape. And then what you want to do is just slowly twist that off this tool, and you've got your bowl. Now just add that to the rest of your pendant, and just use that same tool to push it down and make sure that it's not going anywhere. This is what it should look like so far. Now what we're going to do is take some fake icing that we've made from polymer clay. I do have a tutorial on this so I'll link that on the screen in the description box for you. Now what you want to do is just take that tool and just keep filling up the bowl until you get it to a height or the fillness that you want. Just to add more detail I'm just putting some icing dripping out of the bowl but you don't have to do this, it's up to you because it's your pendant. Now using the same technique we're just going to make a tiny bowl, so using a smaller dotting tool and a smaller piece of grey clay, but it's exactly the same um, technique used, so just make a tiny bowl and then attach that to the rest of the pendant like we did earlier. As you can see from this clip, halfway through this tutorial I realised it looks so weird with just one cutout, so I'm adding another one and I'm also going to put a face on it, but obviously you could do whatever you like and it sort of depends on what shape you've chosen to use as well. So this is what it looks like so far. Now finally those dots that we made earlier, now what we want to do is just turn those into holes and just like before on the top two you want to make sure that you flip it over and reinforce them and make them large enough for the junk rings that you're going to be using. Once you've done that it should look something like this. So now we're going to be making some cookies so I'm taking a ball of Ecru clay and I'm flattening it down onto sandpaper and this gives a really amazing cookie texture. So once you've done one side peel it off and then you'll see the amazing texture on one of the sides. So to make sure that both sides are textured, you want to put it back on the sandpaper and take a toothbrush and just push it down and texture both sides. So once you've done that, it should look like this and both sides should be really nicely textured. Now taking that cookie cutter again, I'm using a heart one obviously, all you want to do is just cut out three cookies. Now once you've cut out all your shapes using that same toothbrush, you want to try and texture the sides. I say try because these hearts are so small, but give it a go. Now using some golden sandy coloured um, chalk pastels, I'm just going to add some colour to the cookies. Now taking a smaller brush, I'm just adding some dark brown to the outer edges to make it look like the cookies have been baked. Now taking that same icing that you put in the bowl earlier, like I said I do have a tutorial on this, and try not to drop it like I did, and just ice some of your cookies. I'm only icing two, but you could do all of them or none of them. The next step is to bake them, so these are hard and they're cooked, so you've got the pendant and then you've got the three cookies. Now I didn't show the clip but I have decorated these with micro marbles and you will be doing that because that's what's going in the small little bowl we made. So as you can see this is what I've been doing now, um, I don't recommend using the Yoohoo glue that I did because it's too sticky. But take the glue of your choice and then place that in the bowl and then what you want to do is just, I use the same cocktail stick and I dip it back into the pot because obviously the micro marbles will stick to it. But once you're finished it should look something like this. 
Next, taking your favourite glaze, mine is the Craft Mill Gloss Polyurethane Glaze, which I do have a review on on my channel if you want to go find it in the description box. But now I'm just going to be glazing the icing, um, so you just don't forget to make sure that if you have put a drip, you'll um, glaze that as well. As well as glazing the icing, do not forget to glaze on the micro marbles just to make sure that they're not going anywhere. And last but not least, for the glazing, you're going to glaze the cookies that you've put icing and micro marbles on. So now it's time to assemble the pendant. Now I've got different size jump rings, but you can use whatever you want. I'm just going to be using the bigger size that I have. So taking some pliers, you want to open it sideways. You don't want to pull them apart because then you won't be able to get them back together perfectly. And I'm just going to fit that through the hole and then add a chain. So I'm turning mine into a necklace, but like I said, depending on where you put the holes, you could turn it into a keychain or whatever. All you want to do is just close that up now. And then this is what it should look like. And then all you want to do is repeat that process on the other side and adding the chain on the other side. Now repeat that same process by adding a jump ring and opening it, but this time you're going to be putting on the cookies. So I'm just showing you how I've done one, but it's exactly the same process and then you pull the two pieces of the jump ring together. So once you've done that, it should look something like this and then you just want to attach all three of the cookies and you're finished. So it should look something like this when you're done. So I love seeing the things you guys make for my tutorials, so if you want to send me the pictures on Instagram then use the hashtag XXRufus and I'll go through and I always look at them and always try and comment. You can also send me photos and talk to me on my Facebook page which is XXRufus and at XXRufus on my Twitter. So here are some of the amazing charms that you guys made from my last tutorial, which was my Mario Cupcake tutorial, and I absolutely love all of these. So most of these are from Instagram, and then the last one here is from Facebook. 